Hey guys, hope you all are doing great out there and staying safe. It's once again time for another five minute design. Real quick, I just want to tell you guys about a new series I want to start where I have you submit some of your designs to me and I'm going to review those, get my thoughts on it, and even make my own versions. I think it'll be a lot of fun to see what you guys are working on. And if you don't mind me and everybody else seeing it, then go ahead and submit your designs at the link here and be sure to send me all the source files. So if it's a Photoshop or Illustrator file, just make sure to send me those. And now we can get on to today's video where we're going to be designing some packaging for these bottles of milk. I don't know about you guys, but I love milk. It's the only thing I drink pretty much besides water. Gotta try to stay healthy, you know? And what we've got here is some flavored milk. We've got vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. We're doing everything from scratch today, so we're gonna come up with a brand, make the packaging, and I think I'll even show you guys the mock-up process this time. I don't always do that, but you guys seem to really enjoy the mock-up I did for my pancake mix series, so I'll show that process here as well. For now, we'll just hop over into Illustrator and come up with a name for our brand. I'll do a little brainstorming and just write down some words that have something to do with milk. Obviously, milk comes from cows, and those cows are generally milked by farmers and that milk falls into a bucket. You know those cows eat grass and they move and many of them have spots. A lot of times listing out words like this is a really great way to just inspire ideas and maybe help you think of something you wouldn't have normally. And I see no need to make this complicated. Let's just go with something simple like cow. So yes, we just named our brand cow and now it's up to us to make this interesting. We have a pretty short name here and I'd like this brand to feel a little bit playful. So I think trying to develop an icon would make sense here. Now I don't know if you guys ever did this, but when I was a kid, we used to do this thing to where we would take a few letters an M and an O and then the number three and then you could draw a little pig out of it. You'd start with an O for the body and again one for the head. You could use an M for its little feet and then the three was for the tail. Two circle eyes. Give it some ears. Another circle for the snout. Two more circles for the nose holes. And then you had a pig. And these letters are actually really close to what we have in our cow name. So maybe we could try to make some type of cow icon using these letters just like we did the pig. And that'll do pig. So if that's the plan, let's go ahead and start looking for some fonts. And we want to find something that's really geometric, almost that could be used as bricks. So I got a few options here. With this bottom choice, we've got some nice circles that we could use. And these other two options are a little more elongated. I kind of like the bolder, taller look a little bit more than this average thinner font. And between these two, this one definitely feels a little bit more playful. I think that's largely due to the rounded corners. So let's see what we can do with it. We certainly could probably make the whole body of the cow. I feel though the entire body might be a little too detailed. So maybe we could trim it down a bit and just go for the head instead. It looks like this O would make a good base for it. And if you've ever seen a cartoon drawing of a cow, they often had really big mouths. So we can drag another O up here, rotate it, and we can give it two little holes for some nostrils. We definitely need some ears on it though. So maybe we could take half of this W and use that for the ears. And that kind of looks like a cow now. As far as how our logo would be set up, we could have this just directly above the name or it could even be by the side of the text. But if we take a quick look back at our bottles, we notice we have a lot of vertical space to take up. And if you remember back to the peanut bar video I did, we had a very similar situation. And in that instance, we ended up writing the logo vertically on the package. I think we could do the same thing here. So instead of either of these, we can lay that out vertically. And I can't help but wondering, since we made the base of this cow head with this O, what would happen if we just replaced the O with our cow icon? You know, that's not half bad. And it almost looks like the cow is looking at us from the front view and these are its front two legs. So let's not stop just yet because we've gone through the entire process of making this cow icon. It's really easy for us to look and think, yeah, that's a cow. But for somebody seeing it for the very first time, I'm not sure that they would get it that easily. So maybe we could try to tweak the style a bit and see if we can't get something that looks a lot more like a cow and a little less abstract. I'm just gonna duplicate that. I think the silhouette of the head and the mouth is what's really gonna sell it as a cow. So let's just try to adjust the proportions of this and make it a bit more organic. I'm gonna start with the mouth. And for the top of the head, maybe we could do some type of circle. I think our original ears could actually work pretty well. I'm just gonna fill those in though, so they're solid. Cow looks like it's had a little bit too much to eat right now, so we'll thin that up some. And one thing we didn't have in our first version that's actually really iconic for cows is the horns. And finally, I think the thing that's really gonna set this off is to give this bad boy some eyes. We could try to give it some nose holes as well. I think that's just too many holes. And personally, I just kinda like it without them. But to match that, we probably need to thicken up these other two letters just a bit. Now, which one of these do you guys like better? I'm gonna stick a poll up here in the corner for you to vote. Do you like this thinner, more abstract geometric logo better? or this more organic filled in one. Make sure you vote and let me know. Personally, I really like the second option much better. So let's go ahead and move forward with this one. So I'm just gonna copy our logo and we'll just paste that into Photoshop. As far as the actual packaging for the bottle goes, if you've watched my hot sauce design video, you know I'm a big fan of having maximum visibility of the product, which means a lot of times, instead of covering something like this up with a paper wrapping, I find it much more interesting to just print what we need directly onto the glass. And so let's just do that. 
So for printing this directly onto the bottle, we definitely want to make it a color that stands out against the background. So in this case, I think a really light tan would work pretty well. Now we obviously want more than just the word cow on our bottle. Otherwise, people might think we just stuck a cow in the blender and then bottled it. So let's put the word milk on here. And since our logo is capitalized, I just made that all caps as well. This is a very plain font right now, and we definitely want something more interesting. So I'd like to find something that matches some of the characteristics of our actual logo. It could be kind of tall and a little bit thicker, but we don't want it to be a perfect match. So since our logo is made out of a sand serif font, it makes sense to have something with serifs for our milk text. And here's a font that I found that I think works perfectly for this. It's a slab serif font, which basically just means it has thick serifs that are more blocky. And you can see that these letters have some personality. The lines aren't perfectly straight. There's a little bit of quirkiness here. And I think that'll work really well with the cow logo. And as usual, we also need our net weight text on here. That's just something that's required. And since we do have some different flavors of milk here, we definitely want to include each bottle's flavor in text somewhere on the package. The flavor of the milk in this bottle is chocolate. And really the only choices of where we can put this are either at the bottom or somewhere at the top. We already have a lot of text down here, so I think having the chocolate towards the top is going to work a little bit better to help balance out the entire thing. Now chocolate is a fairly long word, and I'm not the hugest fan of it just stretching straight across like this. So maybe what we could try would be bending the text instead. So I'll just go back into Illustrator and make a circle, use the type on path tool, so that text will follow the path of the circle, make it bigger, center it up, and maybe space out the letters just a little bit. I'm gonna scooch that down a bit. That way we get a nice even spacing between these elements all the way around the curve. Now to be perfectly honest, I really feel like we could probably stop right here, but I can't help from thinking we could push this just a little bit further. And I think we can improve the design just by adding some more separation between some of these elements. So maybe instead of having this bottom text in the same style as everything else, we could do an inverse of it. So I'll just make this entire bottom part the same color as our text. And then we can select our milk text and mask that out from the shape. And now we get this really cool effect where we can see the word milk because of the actual milk behind it. So right now we have this really boxy container and the flat top of it kind of mimics the top of this milk up here, just sitting still, almost as if it was just another liquid in the bottle. But instead of having this liquid just sit perfectly still, what if we gave it a little bit of movement? Maybe even make it look like it's some kind of splash of milk coming up. I think that's looking pretty cool. The only thing now is it feels a little flat. So maybe we could try to add some shading into this splash to almost make it look like it's different layers of milk and not just a single flat plane. And I'm gonna use that new shape as a mask so we can paint some nice soft shadows behind this and help separate these two layers of milk. And so I think it's pretty easy to see how our milk has a lot more depth now, but I do think we need to mirror this shading effect somewhere else, so maybe we can do that on our icon somehow. Looking at our cow, I feel like a good place to add shadow would be around the ears. That way it has some separation from the head, and we can make it look a little more 3D. I just try to make that look like the ears were turned down slightly. That way it would look like part of the inner ear was in shadow. And the last thing I want to do is add a little bit of grit to this. It's really flat right now, so I think some texture could help. So as you can see, it's not a huge difference, but we definitely have this nice grain effect that can be seen, especially on our shadows. So now I'm just gonna copy these elements to our other two bottles and change up the names to match the type of milk it is. You can start to see that the tan color we picked for the chocolate bottle doesn't look so great on these other two. So because the layout is so similar between all of these, I feel like we could change the color of the actual elements on there and that wouldn't affect the brand recognition at all. In fact, it could even help give each bottle a little more personality. So for the vanilla milk, I think we can maybe try some type of blue. Blue is actually a pretty common color to use on milk products and you'll see that all the time in the stores. I think something like that works well, it keeps it pretty vibrant and colorful. And now we can go ahead and get a new color for our strawberry milk. And I think a really light pink would work pretty well there. And one more thing we can also change is the bottle cap color. So I think it'd be cool if we could match that to the color of the rest of the elements on each bottle. And now we can take this and build a nice presentation out of it. And the first thing I want to do is add some depth to this scene. Right now all the bottles are on the same horizon line and that's certainly not a bad thing. But we can make this a little more interesting by pushing these side bottles back a little bit. And to do that I'll just select them and shrink them down. I'm going to move them closer towards the center one. That way we get a nice grouping. And as for the background, I want to pick something that really helps the product stand out. And a lot of that has to do with the color we choose and the lighting. From our bottle mockups, it looks like we have a light coming from the left hand side. That doesn't mean we can't add another light source somewhere else. A lot of times products can look really cool if they're lit from behind. So I'd like to try something like that. But first, we need to pick a background color that goes with all of the colors in our scene so far. And I think some kind of blue would work pretty well. Now I'm just going to paint in that background light like we were talking about. And now we can go ahead and add some shading onto our bottles. You can see that the shadow is on the right side of the bottle, so that's where our shade's going to be focused, as well as along the bottom of the bottle and just the left hand side in general. And now I'll just do that same shading on our other two bottles.
Now what I think would be cool is to add some reflections of these bottles. So I just made a duplicate of the bottle and we're just going to flip that vertically, and drag it down below. We'll just adjust the blend mode and then fade it out. And I'll do the same thing to the other bottles as well. And to make sure those reflections don't get too distracting, we can blur them a little bit and I'll just help them fade into the floor. And now what I'd like to do is get a horizon line in here. That way it helps sell the perspective of the scene. And to do that, I'm just gonna use this stock image of a backdrop. We'll expand that so it fills the scene. And then we'll adjust the blending mode to get something that looks pretty good. And I think we could even turn this into a little bit of an advertisement because I had a pretty good idea for a piece of copy. I'm just gonna reshape our canvas real quick. And I think for the main copy of the ad, I'm gonna say, have a cow. I think that's a clever way to get people's attention because usually having a cow means you're upset or something. And once they read that, they're gonna look down at the product to try to make sense of the whole thing. And then they'll realize cow is just a milk brand and we're just telling them to have some of our milk. And as you guys know, I'm a big fan of adding props into presentations. And so I think one thing we could add in here would be a splash of milk. Here's a stock image of milk splatter I found. So I'm just gonna set that blending mode to screen. That way it hides all the black parts. I'll stick that behind our bottles. And then we'll try to position that so that the milk looks like it's coming out of this central horizon point and splashing out to both sides. And to help that blend in better, we're just going to mask out the bottom of the milk and fade that into the background. And that pretty much wraps it up. The last thing I'm going to do is a little bit of color correction and grading. And guys, I think that's it for this video. If you haven't subscribed already, why don't you go ahead and do that? And while you're at it, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Did you like the design? Do you think it would work well? And maybe let me know what you would have done differently. I've got several other videos just like this that you can watch right here. And like I said in the very beginning of the video, if you do want to submit your work for my new design critique series, here's the email for that once again. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. And I think it'll be really fun. So go ahead and send me something. Once again, I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.